He says, I heard in one of your lectures that the best thing for two people who like each other is marriage. And I have the uh, same intention to get married, but how to explain to the elders? Okay, I guess I understand your question. There is one hadith in which the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, ما رأيت للمتحابين أو المتحابين مثل النكاح which means I haven't seen any better solution or other solution to a couple who love each other other than marriage that is the ultimate solution if there are two people a man and a woman who are in love you know and it is not we're talking we're not talking about liking each other we're talking about love which may uh, evolve as a result of many reasons so in any case if these two people are in love like it happens that men and women go to school together they work together they attend a class together they study together you know so it may happen that that a man would love a woman and a woman would love that man what is the solution the solution is to get married that is the ultimate solution and the only valid solution and instead of going out together uh, chatting uh, dating and all of that is not permissible of course so the prophet sallallahu is suggesting the solution is to get married and also suggesting to the elders and to the guardians to facilitate such marriage not to go against their will especially if there is a nice match and if there is chemistry between them so this is what you need to explain to your elders, to your parents, provided the main principle and the original conditions are there and fulfilled, like being able to get married, open a house, take care of a wife, uh, the, the, the girl herself is a good girl with manners, religiously committed, and you too, you belong to a good family, because a person may love a woman who is not a chess woman does it mean that okay the prophet sallallahu alaihi said you should get married you should marry her no marriage as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said there are qualities that you should look for and the greatest quality ever is a deen or the religious commitment so if she's not like that then the prophet sallallahu alaihi does not advise you to marry her on the contrary Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ordered you to keep looking for a woman whom you believe that is a righteous woman. And the same to the girl. The Prophet sallallahu addressed her guardian by saying, إِذَا جَاءَكُمْ مَنْ تَرْضَوْنَ دِينَهُ وَأَمَانَتَهُ فَزَوِّجُوهُ If a person whom he trusts his religious commitment and his honesty, he is a man of morals and good manners, and he's proposing to you or asking you to give him your daughter, your sister, your granddaughter in marriage since you are the guardian. So would you facilitate such marriage, accept that proposal. And if you don't, that would lead to the widespread of mischief and corruption on earth. As we see that is happening.